Let's have a look at this here map. Aha! We've got another stranger down here that had... I'm sure that was available before and then it disappeared. Oh, nice. My horse is close enough for the whistle to work. Come on, horsey. Thank Christ that it's nearby somewhere. Or is it? Hello, horsey? It says it's coming, but I don't see it anywhere. Am I getting mugged off by my horse? Oh, here it is. Oh, threading that needle. Lovely stuff. Head back here after this. Hello, sir. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Look out. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. The artist's the way. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I... I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth. And what's that? I am a pies, um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where That's always you? good. Journey. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, he's a bit annoying. Paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh, Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. Don't it's believe in it? Lies. Why is that? Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Paris <laughs> is truth. Art. For idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Is that it? Is that the entire mission? Well, okay then. <laughs> Very nice. What's this person got for me then? Hello. I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. 
but you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Why don't you hedge your bets and give... Little can go such wow. a long way. Yes, fine. Sure. I am a nice man. Some of the time. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Okay, let's go have a look at that then. Welcome back. Hey, yeah. Uh, is it going to be down here or am I supposed to go on the inside? In here? Okay, no, I'm supposed to be on the inside, aren't I? I think. Shall do. Nothing to say? Okay. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Looking for anything in particular? Yeah. Summon. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Spirit of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Alrighty then. That was easy. Didn't even have to beat the shit out of him. They made me do it, I swear. Well, shit. Got ourselves a secret basement. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help me. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Oh, can you imagine? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. There you go. Now, is the dickhead upstairs going to lock us in when we try and go back out? Is the question. I would not be surprised. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. Okay, no, we're all right. That's it. Come on, you'll be safe soon. Give cash to captives. Sure thing. I was about to rob it, but hey, if there's that option. Here, take that and come with me. 
I know someone who can help you. Can we get out the back here? No. Okay. My honor's getting pretty decently high up that bar, which is good. I know there's an achievement for maxing it out, which I would quite like to get, just for my own happiness. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Just follow me. Don't worry, it's all good. You haven't seen me at all yet. Well, they sing it, the preachers, they dance. Hello. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't know <laughs> much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh, here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give to the poor. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Nice. Help a brother out. Okay, how could I have done that one better? Complete in short time. Find the captives without threatening. Okay. I mean, I feel like the right move was to threaten the shit out of a low life like that. I have no qualms. Okay, another stranger down here. I think this was the final stranger that showed up before that had disappeared, so that'll be good. Then we can head to Hosea. You've got a very squeaky voice, my friend. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over The mercies of knowledge. <laughs> no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of to shine? Do it. Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, <laughs> right, I'm of trying. shine? <laughs> I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Okay. Let's whack a marker on then. That's a bit of a way away, Jesus. Oof. Let's get going. Hang on, what's that one that just popped up? Oh, it's the guy we just helped. Well, whatever, we're doing this now. Although I guess actually we could take the train, but oh well. I'm on the uh on the on the path now, so whatever. For future reference, got to remember the trains are a pretty, pretty good source of travel. I feel like I'm not going as fast as I could be. I'm mashing A. I swear he normally rides faster than this. I 
Maybe not. Nah, maybe I'm just imagining things. Not like that bridge? That was a bit of a slow... Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I ain't helping you. Not today. I've helped a lot of people out, missus. I'm afraid you are one too many. A bridge too far, as they say. We'll get this done. I don't know where we'll end up. We'll probably, in fact, we'll probably end up back in Sundanee because we'll have to take it back to the dude, so... If we do end up back there, we'll do the brother what's-his-face quest. If we do not end up back there, if we're near a Hosea, then we'll get on with the main quest. See how things shake out. Must be almost there, somewhere near. Man, I was trying to think when I was uh, writing my anniversary video for my one year anniversary. I was trying to think how long these series, this and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, were going to take. And I, it's going to be so long. Like, Odyssey's already passed 60 parts. Oh, shit. Odyssey's already passed 60 parts. And I think uh, by this point, this will be around 40, 45, something like that. And... We're nowhere near done. <laughs> it's mad. They're both such massive series. Right, Rhodes, here we are. And I just hope I have them done in time for the massive slew of new releases that's coming out early next year. It's going to be pretty mad. Okay. Hello, Mr. Train. Uh, wait. Is he on the other side? If you're waiting for the next train, should be here soon. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Ask about Moonshine. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right fellow to speak to. Blue Water Marsh Coach Tip. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. So where are we staying on the map then? Oh, very north of Sandney. Christ above. Would it be quicker to just ride there, or would it be quicker to... Actually, can I get a train to Lagras? Let's see. Train to Lagras, is that a, is that a possibility? It sure is not. Oh, boy. Well, then I guess train to Saint Denis. Okay. Safe travels. And then ride on from there. Man, that's very back and forthy. I wish that wasn't a thing. You start in Saint Denis, you have to ride all the way to Rhodes, and then you have to ride, in theory, if you're. Uh, you can take the train, obviously, but then the next step of the quest is all the way back past Saint Denis again. It's like, really? Come on. Okay. 
so. Where am I? Man, that doesn't even take me that near. The train station's lower down than I remember. Damn it. <laughs> What's that? Bait shop. Okay. Is my horse around here anywhere? Oh, he is. He's just to my right. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's ride on then. Let's see how easy it is to hold up this uh <laughs> this wagon. I wonder what he means when the dude says he wants to make use it to make a love machine? What? That sounds a bit strange. Does my horse usually make all these noises? It's like, snort, 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 snort. Ah, there we go. I guess you just can't ride quickly in because it's considered too close to the city. I knew. I knew that there was a faster top speed. That I wasn't reaching for some reason. Uh, can we just straight line it? Probably. Rip that guy over there. <laughs> Almost there. Come on. I can hear the train going by. <laughs> For the wagon. Easy. Okay. How long am I going to be waiting for? Okay, here it comes. Not too bad. So, can I do the old jump to wagon thing? Except there's a bunch of That just leaves me with the rob option. Step down from there and drop your weapon. I'm taking this shipment. Oh no, you ain't. You ain't getting the Okay, that's not working, so Hello, friend. Wait, did he just die? Okay. Well, there's one for good luck. Thanks for playing. If you'd have just got out, then none of this would have ever happened, my dude. So really, this is all your fault. Okay, let's take a wide angle. 
Guess I should keep calling my horse as I ride along so that he ends up coming with us. Man, this is not really a good road, is it? Literally just built out of planks above the mud. But I guess that is how they would have done it back in the day. It's really cool to see a setting like this. I wasn't sure I was going to be interested, really. Uh, like, I knew, obviously, it's Rockstar. I knew I'd enjoy it to some extent. But the Wild West setting isn't one that, like, massively grabs me or anything. And I've never watched a Western movie in my life. Like, I just don't... That's not a setting that appeals, basically. Um, but, I don't know. It just... Something about this game is making it appeal a lot more than anything I've seen before. Seeing everything in its infancy stages, how the world we have today came to be. And it's just cool to think like this was this was a real period of time. Like this isn't just some fantasy. Like this this stuff was going on. Obviously not exactly this stuff, but the world as it's presented. Man. I know. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners. Uh, to calmly judgment. and peacefully. Yes. Judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. Uh, help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? Sure, I guess. <laughs> Speak to the police chief at Sundany Jail. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. So, we've got Brother Davis, was it? Dawkins. Don't know why. <laughs> Where did I come up with Davis? Then over here, we've got the Professor... And wasn't there something else I could have sworn I saw? Oh, it's probably just that one. PR? No, there's two PR. There's a PR up there. How are there two PR? Am I going insane? Oh, no, there is a PR over here. It was just hidden. Uh, so it's bugged? That's definitely bugged, right? Because I've done that. That's what I just did. Strange. Okay, I need to actually mark what I'm doing. Uh, okay, Brother Davis is just to the right and around the corner. That is very strange that it's not disappeared. It is Hello. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Brothers Dorky and sisters, told me one about and all. The wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> none taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's scared to the worst. Don't hurt him, please. God damn it! Where'd he go? Kid. Find clues. What did you do to you, sir? You all right? Oh, I'll leave. Kid did this. 
Yes. Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? That way. Thank you. You think? Your eyes playing tricks on you? How can you not be sure? Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. Promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. I mean, if you took your wallet or watch or something. Oh God, please no! What? Oh, he dropped it. Okay. I was like, what? Where's it gone? You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Do I know who Mrs. Downs is? Oh, fuck. I feel like I don't know who that is. But it sounds like I'm supposed to. That's great. Hey, yeah. Good thing I've got pasty legs. That is very strange, though. Mrs. Downs. I do not. Oh, fuck. I do not recognize the name. And I did not recognize the face either. Excuse me. Okay, should be good if I just wait here. Right. Fine sister, what's the face without alerting the law? Are they gonna spot me then or? If I go near them, or what? Is it just saying, don't shoot anyone in town? Oh, fuck. There's police all around. I see. Uh. Hmm. Can I go down this alleyway over here? Sneak around the other side? Oh, man. This is harder than I thought. Oh, hello. Is that a cigarette card? Oh, hey, it is. How am I supposed to get past these guys? If I just walk past, are they going to notice me? Like, I don't know if they've got my picture. I'm just going to stroll on past because I really don't know if... Fuck. Okay. Well. I really don't know <laughs> how to get around them then. Because they're just all around the place I have to go. And they're not moving. It's not like they're on patrol paths that I can slip between or anything. They're just stood there. See if I can go further around. Can I get through over here or something? Aha, possibly through here. Okay, that makes more sense. Hello. Hey, excuse me, father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. 
You are the most wonderful man. Brother what is going on with the background there? Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing. What is going on with that background? My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See uh, can I walk out past this guard? Find the kid in 19 seconds. Yeah, right. Okay. Bounty of a fiver. Has this mission... No, this mission is still over here. That's really annoying me. 